Lateral ligament assessment. I like having the patient's foot off the edge of the bed because you need to be able to move it to assess the ligaments, to put them on tone to see them nicely. So to assess the lateral ligaments, you need the foot in a little bit of an inverted and plantar flex position to put those ligaments on tone. So we're going to come around the front and have a look at our ATFL. ATFL runs pretty much parallel to the sole of the foot. So if we just grab our fibula head and runs parallel to the sole of the foot, we see our ATFL here and we, we see it in, in pretty reasonable view already because we'll put the foot in a nice position. We want to make it just a little bit nicer. We can invert the foot a little bit and, and add a bit more plantar flexion. We can see the fibular end and the tailor end of the ATFL in through here. Very nice looking ATFL. If you take it off tone, if the foot's dorsiflexed, it, it, it boils itself up, wraps itself up. So you need it on tone, you need it stretched out. Bit of plantar flexion, bit of inversion. You see your ATFL nicely. From here, we're gonna go around to our calcaneo fibula ligament. So we're gonna orientate our probe from our fibula down towards the point of the calcaneus. So we're gonna have a look at our perineal tendons and we're gonna have a look underneath our perineal. So I'm just gonna fan forward and back to I start to get some of the calcaneo fibula ligament in through here. If your patient has really bony ankles, add more gel. Fill up all those bony voids. So we grab our perineals, find part of that calcaneo fibula ligament. And now to put this on tone, we need to invert the foot a little bit and add a bit of dorsiflexion to stretch it on out. And then we see quite nicely our calcaneo fibula ligament in through here. So putting it on tone. So think about how you injure your calcaneo fibula ligament. It's a dorsiflexion inversion injury. You need to put it on tone to see the same. So inversion, dorsiflexion. We can see our fibula end and our calcaneal end very nicely. And when our CFL is intact, it should act kind of as, a, as the trampoline to the bottom of your perineals. It should lift the perineals up and they should bounce on top of it with your subtalar joint sitting underneath. Add in through there, relax. From here, we're gonna talk about our perineal tendon. So we're just gonna follow our perineals up and around. So perineal tendinopathy, it's quite a common pathology, especially in people with high arched feet but we can follow our perineals down. We have our perineus longus sitting on top and B brevis bone sitting underneath. So brevis with its low lying muscle belly. So brevis sitting under there closest to the fibula. As they go and wrap themselves around the fibula, over the subtalar joint, down towards the perineal tubercle because before they go their own separate way with longus wrapping underneath the foot and brevis going down towards the base of the fifth. So we have our perineals. Perineal tendinopathy assessment usually happens around the malleolus or around the perineal tubercle. And we also have our perineal retinaculum around the fibula that holds it in place. So here we have our perineal retinaculum. So if you have your snapping or dislocating perineals, this is where you'd assess for it with a, with a bit of a circular movement, a bit of active eversion, we'll often get them to snap and click. The other ligament we want to assess, and it's a really important one to assess and very easy to do, is our anterior inferior tib fib ligament. So we are going to go from our ATFL assessment, from the sole of the foot, parallel with the sole of the foot, and now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate our probe around. So we're going to keep the fibula end anchored, and we're going to rotate our tailor end up till we get onto the tibia. Rotate around there, and then we get onto the tibia up and through here. This is as we get down just here to our AITFL our anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament. That's one way to go about it. The other way to go about locating it is just grab your probe in short axis from the distal part of the thigh, no, sorry, distal part of the shin. Find your fibula, find your talus. Oh, start again. Find your fibula, find your tibia, and come down, drift down inferiorly to get just to the very end here of your tibia and rotate your probe up and around to elongate on that bit of collagen, which is your anterior inferior tib fib ligament. And you see your probe sits up quite high with the orientation of those fibres. To stress this ligament and see it a little bit nicer, we add a little bit of dorsiflexion. So if we dorsiflex the foot, it forces the talus down in through here, it forces the talus up, and it forces the tibia and the fibula to separate away from each other. So up here is a nice assessment of our anterior inferior tibiofibular ligament for your high ankle sprain assessment. <laughs>